Now let's talk about configuring routers. Basically, what are the basic settings on a router? Uh, Cisco routers and switches, uh, they, I mean, as far as the configuration is concerned, they both are pretty much same, similar, uh, with very minor uh, differences uh, in configuring a Cisco router or a Cisco switch. So when we will be studying uh, configuring a router, uh, almost everything will be similar if you configure a switch. So we will talk about Cisco uh, router uh, uh, configuration, how to configure a Cisco router. So there are some, uh, some basic tasks that you are supposed to perform when you configure a router. So these are the tasks. The first one is you are supposed to name the device that you are basically you know, configuring. And you also are supposed to basically perform secure management access in order to basically you know, um, avoid uh, a situation when an unauthorized uh, user is trying to access your device. And also uh, you should basically configure a banner that is basically a message uh, to tell the unauthorized user uh, to basically, you know, uh, you're accessing the, devi the device without uh, the privileges um, or the, or the, or the, you know, the required access rights. Okay, so now let's look into the first uh, task, which is naming the device. All right, so um, the first command that you're supposed to uh, basically perform is the configure terminal command that basically enters you into the configuration mode. And then you are supposed to basically, you know, write the command host name R1. And we are basically naming the device, uh, the router, with the name R1. So host name is a keyword and R1 is the value. Okay. So in order to securely or manage the interfaces on a router, you are supposed to perform uh, these uh, uh, step of uh, commands. First, you basically enable the secret uh, class and then you provide the username and then the password and also the the third command is basically you're entering into the the interface mode which is the line console uh, mode you provide the password and then login and you exit from that configuration uh, local configuration mode and then you basically uh, provide the uh, the domain uh, which is uh, cisco.com and also you basically uh, provide the uh, cryptography information for encryption and then you enter into the the vlan virtual uh, uh, terminal uh, line mode and you also uh, basically uh, tell the router to basically get the input from ssh and login should be local and now in order to configure uh, the banner you are supposed to perform this uh, command which is banner and then uh, the keyword MOTD and this uh, string uh, which will be shown when an unauthorized user is trying to access uh, a router or when the, uh, when the username or password you're providing is basically not according to the uh, access control list requirement. So this is the message that will be shown which is authorized access only. So uh, as you can see uh, from, the, from the slide, so this is a typical network and now we are going to basically configure the G0 slash 0 interface which is the gigabit uh, LAN interface. So the command is interface uh, gigabit uh, ethernet uh, 0 slash 0 and then uh, we are going to provide a description which is link to LAN 1 and then we are going to configure the IP address of this interface and we are, we are supposed to give the subnet mask also. And then no shutdown and exit command. So this basically configures the interface and, and, and we give them uh, the IP address and the subnet mask. And now in order to configure the other, uh, you know, LAN interface of the router, which is G0 slash 1, uh, these are the commands. Uh, first the interface, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1, and the rest are the same commands that we went through in the previous slide, which is just giving the IP addresses and the subnet mask. And in order to configure the serial interface, which is 0 slash 0 slash 0 of router R1, and this is, these are the, you know, the list of commands, interface serial, and then this, you know, 0 slash 0 slash 0. Description is linked to R2. 
IP address and the subnet mask. The clock rate because it's a serial uh, interface uh, which is connected to the other end with the DEC uh, uh, end. So you're you're supposed to provide the clock rate also. So we we looked into the uh, basic configuration uh, of a router, and we uh, we basically uh, studied the uh, uh, the the commands that are used to uh, configure an interface uh, of a router.